Today is September 14th. It's uh, 4 o'clock in the morning. I am, <laughs> to reiterate, 54 years old. I don't have much time. And me rushing to get somewhere, I may not be able to get there even though I, get, I attempt to go there as fast. This is a game of thoroughly understanding in order to reduce the time it takes me to get to the point. So I, I thought I keep, as my knowledge grows, I'm revisiting what needs to happen. So today, uh, September 14, 2023, I have See, trading, trading should be, trading is essentially this way, it really, okay? So the first step is, one, setup is recognized, two, buy is made, three, set up, set up, uh, set stop loss, set limit order, and then four, monitor uh, if there's a major trend reversal in between the entry and the exit so that, so that I can preserve the the gains that I have. Otherwise, the stop loss is just gonna uh, uh, exit the trade. And then five, auto exit on limit order or stop loss, right? Essentially, essentially that's how, that's how it is, okay? So if I were to just describe a little bit more in detail, all I have to do is search for setup through all watch the stock. So if, if I don't have a, uh, so if I, if I have, if I have a um, alert, if I set an alert for a particular situation that is connected to the setup, then that alert is going to uh, let me know what it is. Okay. Now this could work. This could work. If I'm looking for a particular if I'm looking for a particular situation to occur, for me to look for an ideal situation, I would set up a alert so that I, it, it, there's an automation that's involved that allows me to essentially, uh, just essentially just, um, when that condition arises, then it'll alert me. Then I can go to it instead of me searching through it. Uh, the list I have is not as long uh, as it's it's not that big and so what I can do at this stage is to do things uh, manually once I start making money then I can uh, automate it I can think of things that I could do to automate the things so that what I do manually I can do it automatically and then and then make my trading a lot easier to do okay so that's the little bit of more of a okay so buy just make the purchase right that's what i'm going to be doing make the purchase determine the right stop loss for the trade now that's the hard one that uh, i've already described here determine the right limit order for the for the trade okay when i look at that i have to gauge at the time after i buy it what would be the appropriate uh gain that i'm looking at okay that's also not an easy thing to do. It's going to be based on whether the stock is, is essentially in a trend mode or not, or maybe it's a range bound mode, or maybe it's going to be a reversion mode, in, in which case the stock may turn around and, um, and, and reverse, okay? So before that happens, um, then the next step is, I would be monitoring the trade, looking at the chart formations, looking at, so I would be looking at the QQQ if it's a NASDAQ stock, and then compare the chart formation, and then compare it with the VIX. And based on those chart formations, if the chart formation, chart formation is in a continuation mode, then I look forward to looking at it to, to, to reverse, which means that I have to, if my trade is already set then at that point I need to exit the trade otherwise 
Otherwise, the, the trend is going to continue. I need to allow the trade to uh, complete its formation. And then the last part is just allow the limit order to exit the trade. Okay. Now here is the here is here is essentially these are the same. These are the same, but this is based on each of the setups that I have. So these are so this is going to be a very very interesting part of trading. This is the this is the part that is very very interesting, and the reason I say that it's very interesting is because there could be lots of like setup number one, setup number two, setup uh, dot dot dot, and then setup a number ten. Okay, so this will work for each of these setups, but this is essentially the same. Okay, buy, slap loss. So, so these are these are essentially the same. Okay, so setup. Okay. So if that is the case, I heard that novice day traders are just looking for in search of setups, right? The hardest part is waiting for it, waiting for that particular setup to occur. So what what have I been trading? What kind of uh, setups have I been looking at uh, at this point? Okay, what essentially, essentially, there are just two types. There are just types. Uh, the first part is essentially trend continuation. The other is trend reversion. That's it. There's only just two types of trading that's 